Hello, I'm Curtis Nittle, Vice President of Wired Technologies. Today on Cable Lab's informed video blog, improving customers' video and data experience on cable networks. That's our top story for today. Now, have you ever seen radio frequency signals coming from the cable plant? I haven't either, but that is all about to change. Through Cable Lab's proactive network maintenance activities, and specifically using an innovation from Tom Williams, we're doing just that, detecting signals emanating from the cable plant. This is our story. Cable networks use metallic coaxial cable and under normal operating conditions should not emit radio signals. But for reasons such as animal chews, craft error, or corrosion, signals can be emitted. These leakage signals must be repaired if they are over an FCC threshold. None of the leaks shown in this demo exceed the FCC threshold. The legend in the upper right corner shows the field strength of the detected leaks. The test signal on the cable plant is a highly stable continuous wave at 640 megahertz, and detection is done using a principle of Doppler shift. As an example of Doppler shift, with a 600 megahertz test frequency, if a vehicle were headed straight towards the signal source at 40 meters per second, a Doppler shift of 85 hertz would be measured. But if a smaller frequency were detected, say 40 hertz, the approach angle can be derived as the arc cosine of 40 divided by 85, or 62 degrees. Thus, a vector can be drawn from the point of measurement to the leakage source. This demonstration is of an automatic data capture system that can be mounted on a vehicle that, through the normal course of the day, traverses neighborhoods. For example, such a vehicle might be a garbage truck, a dry cleaning delivery service, or a taxi cab. The system uses a software-defined radio, and the in-phase and quadrature samples are combined to make a synthetic phased array, which has very high sensitivity and can track several leaks at once. At night, the captured leakage data can be uploaded automatically using Wi-Fi. The leakage data can then be used by a technician to locate large leaks for diagnosis and repairs. Because the system knows where the leaks are located, an antenna field strength measurement takes into account whether the leak is severe and far from the road or weak and near the road. Being able to detect these signals right down to the meter or the foot is, is fascinating technology. And why is this important, you might be asking? Well, that's simple. Where there's signals exiting the plant, there's also signals entering the plant, which increases noise. Increasing noise increases bit errors. Increasing bit errors means packet loss. So by fixing these so-called leakage points on the network, we're able to improve the overall customer experience. I'm Curtis Nittle. Thank you for watching.